Good day, my name is Shub Tavet Balan and I'm a Procon Support Consultant. Today I will show you how to import DWG or DXF files into PADS, Frame Analysis and into Sumo. In this video I will demonstrate how to import a DWG or DXF file into PADS. I will show how to import a DXF file into Frame Analysis and use them as construction lines in the model. I will show you how to import a DWG or DXF file into frame analysis and how to import multiple 2D DWG or DXF files into Sumo. Firstly, I will show how to import a DWG or DXF files into PADS. Open Procon and open PADS. Click on File, read DXF DWG CEX. Please note that you have to exclude any external references from the DWG file as well as having the Procon DWG engine installed on your computer. Navigate to the DWG or DXA file that must be exported into PADS and open. This window gives the option to import pen styles from the DWG into PADS. If it is desired, select yes. This window gives the option to fit the drawing onto the page or it can be imported to its original size by selecting No. If the drawing must fit onto the page, select Yes. Select the page size and the landscape or portrait orientation. The scale of the drawing will be adjusted to fit this specific page. Now I will show how to import a DXF file into Frame Analysis and use the lines as construction lines in the model. Open Frame Analysis. Go to the Modeler. Go to Edit Work Plane. Click on Drawing File. Now choose the file type as a 3D DXF drawing file. Navigate to the file to be imported and click on open. The drawing will be imported on the work plane grid. Choose the position and orientation of the drawing. In this case I will select origin, apply and close. The lines imported does not have any significance to the frame model and can be used as construction lines when using the modeler mode. For example, adding beams. How to import a 3D DWG file into Frame Analysis. Open Frame Analysis. Click on File. Hover over Import. Select DWG DXF files. Navigate to the file that needs to be imported and open. This window will ask you to interchange Z and Y values. The reason for this is AutoCAD's coordination system uses Z as its vertical plane and X and Y as its horizontal planes. While in Procon it works differently. Y is the vertical plane and X and Z are the horizontal planes. To make sure that the structure stays in the correct orientation, select Yes for X and Y interchange, as well as Z for marrying Z values. All lines will be imported as beam elements according to the different properties of the AutoCAD lines. So, make sure to change the beam properties to that of the structural model. To do that, go to Beam Sections and change the beam names. Select the correct sections and choose the material of the elements. Lastly, I will show you how to import multiple DWG files into Sumo. Open Sumo. 
In this example, I will import multiple DWG files into a SUMO model. This particular example will be different plan levels of a building. All the entities in the DWG files will be imported as construction lines. Firstly, I will create extra levels so that the DWG inputs can be placed on respective levels. To do that, select levels. Add additional levels. Choose the elevation of the levels. Choose the extend above and view depth as preferred. Now the first DWG file will be imported. Select file, go to import, import DWG, navigate to the file to be imported. Select the DWG file and click on open. Select the unit the drawing was drawn in AutoCAD. Select the level the drawing must be imported to and click on OK. For the second level, select File, Import, Import DWG. Select the DWG file, click on Open. Select the units the drawing was drawn in AutoCAD. Select the level the drawing must be imported to and click on OK. For the third level, it will be done the same. Now you can see that all the DWG files were imported on different levels and can be used as construction lines. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and an authorized developer training and certification center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.